Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be looking at a Carnades.org original. This is going to be part four of our series on the problem of induction and the new riddle of induction. It's going to be a response to Swinburne's objection to Nelson Goodman's new riddle of induction. If you haven't checked out my videos on at least the new riddle of induction and Swinburne's objection, you should do that now. One quick proviso before we get going. This is a basic introduction to the new riddle of induction. If you want more information, you should check out The Problem of Induction on the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy, GRU by R.G. Swinburne, and of course, The New Riddle of Induction by Nelson Goodman. With that out of the way, let's get started. Now, when last we left our heroes, Swinburne had leveled a powerful objection against Nelson Goodman claiming that GRU is a locational predicate, while GREEN is a qualitative predicate. And because we should prefer qualitative predicates to locational ones, we should prefer GREEN to GRU. Basically, locational predicates are less preferable than qualitative ones, because locational predicates require temporal or spatial knowledge. Knowledge about what time it is, or knowledge about where one is. Imagine we have two people looking at some emeralds. One of them uses predicates like green and blue, and one of them uses predicates like gru and bleen. The person who uses predicates like green and blue can confidently say that an emerald is green without knowing what time it is, whereas the person who uses predicates like gru and bleen would have to ask is it before or after time t before saying what color the emerald is. This seems a little strange. Let's see if we can offer a response by introducing a couple new predicates. Greena and Browna. Greena is defined as something that appears green. Brown is something that appears brown. Green, on the other hand, is defined based on Greena and Browna as something that's Greena in white light, but Browna in red light, whereas Brown is defined as something that is Browna regardless of light. I offer those second two definitions simply to show that, in fact, you can define either green and brown in terms of green and brown, or vice versa, just as we could with green and blue and gru and bleen. Now once again imagine two people looking at some emeralds. The person who uses greena and browna can confidently say that the emerald he's looking at is browna, because it appears brown to him, while the person who uses predicates like green and brown would have to ask the question, wait, what kind of light? is going on here. Is this white light? Is this red light? I can't tell whether this emerald is green or brown because I don't know what kind of light is present. Because according to those predicates, if the light were red, it's possible that the emerald could be either green or brown. But based on the predicates greena and browna, it doesn't matter what kind of light is going on. If the emerald looks brown or browna, the emerald is browna. Therefore, we're left with a new distinction between apparent and environmental predicates. Apparent predicates are predicates that do not depend on the environment, whereas environmental predicates are predicates that do depend on the environment. Greena would be an example of an apparent predicate, while green would be an example of an environmental predicate. So, if we prefer green to grew, we should also prefer greena to green. If we prefer qualitative to locational predicates, we should also prefer apparent predicates to environmental ones. It seems that Swinburne has in fact done too much. Swinburne's objection goes too far, as it also eliminates those environmental predicates that we prefer, like green. So we're either left with being forced to use predicates like greena and browna to actually describe things, or we're left with the original riddle of induction because we can't eliminate grew and bleen as possibilities. This has been a Carnades.org original. Please offer your thoughts and criticisms below so that we can always be improving these videos. Watch this video and more at Carnades.org and stay skeptical, everybody.